I hope he fails. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. Barack Obama is attacking our values. I want liberal policies to fail. Every Republican in this country wants Obama to fail, but none of them have the guts to say so. I don't want his liberal policies to succeed. Mitt Romney has to win for liberty and freedom, and we have to put an end to this Barack Obama presidency before it puts an end to our way of life in America. The greatest threat to the country that was put together by the founding fathers is the guy that is in the White House today. Uh, the man's got no shame. Aren't being able to fire people who provide services to me. Ever asked to see my birth certificate, they know that this is the place that we were born and raised. The decency. Most radical president in American history. The economy is so bad and so shaky, and, and the Obama vision has, has not worked at all. Zero. Now, again, it's only been six weeks, but we're trying, we're trying to score a victory for the Republican people. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania, done. These are people who pay no income tax. 47% of Americans pay no income tax. Uh, if the president is serious about working with us, let's get down to business. Let's stop the politics. It wasn't the weather. They knew what the weather was going to be months ago. Familiar precisely with exactly what I said, but I stand by what I said, whatever it was. Where are the jobs? I'm concerned about the very poor. Where are the jobs? President Obama has never even run a lemonade stand. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profit. He said tonight that insurance executives are bad people. He said, you know, if you have a business, you didn't build it. Someone else did that. Mr. President, take your campaign of division and anger and hate back to Chicago and let us get about rebuilding. We don't want failed policies to succeed.